Hi, it's Jody from JC's Journals. We're here. This is our painting we did with. This is the photocopy of the painting we did. I've taken a few copies so that we can use them in our journals. So we can use them for all different things. Tearing them up, tear that piece out and use it. Um, sticking it on a page, we could cut them up. But today we're going to make a zine. Okay, so we're just going to make one zine. You could make three or four and stick together and make into a little book. Um, but what I'm going to do is show, show you today how to make a simple little zine that you could write some notes or quotes on and stick in a fold in a pocket in your journal. Okay, so what we're going to do is fold it in half. And if you have a bone folder, that would be great because it gives you a nice crisp fold. If not, you could use your fingers or a credit card. That works as well too. Okay, so then the next one, so that's hot dog. I'm going to go again, fold that in half again. And give it a nice little good. And then we're going to turn it over. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go once more. This is the one I always forget to do when I open it back up and I think, oh, why? Why isn't that working? Okay, so then we're going to open it up. I like to fold them the other way as well because when you get, you don't have to do as definite with these creases. Hot dog. Just to give reinforce the creases so when you go to fold it out later, you've got to fold each, each way. So open it up at the top. So we've got our opening at the top and then this line here we're going to cut along that line there but only the one section okay so then we can open it this way and we've got okay so then we're going to fold it see now because that fold is folded both ways it's nice and neat and easy easy to do but you know what it's on the wrong way so let's turn it over the other way so our <laughs> paintings are on the outside not on the inside okay so we've got it like that fold it bring it together crease that line there nice and neat take that line nice bring it across making sure oops, making sure that we've got it all lined up okay so then when we open it up we've got a little zine and then to finish it off, I'm just going to grab my glue stick. We're just going to put a little bit of glue on the inside here. And glue that one nice and flat. Now remember, pressure with your glue stick because that's what activates your glue stick see it and then oops see that air bubble when we get to that air bubble we can open it up again and see this one's open so we can pop a little bit of glue on this one making sure we activate pressure heat pressure you turn the page and you can pop a little bit in there just to keep it nice and neat. Okay, so it's a simple, it's as simple as that. 
then you've got a nice little you can go this way actually is that way prettier no that's whichever way you want I like that there and you could write quotes or notes or little secret things just to pop in a pocket in your journal I'm just going to have a look and see if we've got a... Oh, look, here's a pocket. So we could pop it in our journal and you can pull it out and have your little notes. Notes on it. So that's if you want to use it as a single one. Now, I'm just going to show you one that we're working on in a group that we have. So five kids... Four, four children, and I'm the last big kid. Um, so there's six of us all together. And we've painted... I can't pull it apart because I think we've already glued them. So we all did the prompts. So this was one child's. And we've glued it together. And this is another one. Okay, and so on. So this is all of them. And then what you can do is, what we're going to do is stitch them together. You could, you could just glue and stick those two together like that. And then it would open up into a little book and this one follows on, but you do lose these two pages. So what we're going to do is sew those ones together. This one has already been sewn together. So we've sewn each one together. Oh, that one you could tape them together. She had a go at taping them to see which she preferred. But and then once we've got them all, let me have a look. So this is an individual one here. Okay, so we've put our stitch in and then we've hooked it around the top and come back through. I can show you that in another video. And then we've weaved to join them all together. So this is one that's already been finished. So you could glue them together. You could washi tape them together you could sew them together and then weave them all together to make a giant big book so that would make your own little keepsake journal with all your own artwork in it so your choice